And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Eoabellosaurus, which was a request from PaleoMike716 via our Patreon and Discord. So thanks. It was an abelosaur, surprise, mm-hmm. <laughs> that lived in the middle Jurassic in what is now Chubut Province, Argentina, found in the Cañadón Asfalto Formation. It looked somewhat similar to Majungasaurus. It walked on two legs. It had a long head, a long tail, a bulky body, powerful legs, and short arms. Although, unlike Majungasaurus, no head ornamentation has been found. It's interesting it's described as having a long head. I always think Majungasaurus and Carnotaurus and the other Abelosaurus, like one of the most notable things about them is that they have sort of a short head. Unless we're thinking long in the vertical dimension, sort of like a tall head. In the paleo art, it looks like a long head to me. That's how I came up with that. Gotcha. At least compared to something like Majungasaurus, I suppose. But not compared to something like a Spinosaurus. Mm, That's a good point. Where do you draw the long, <laughs> the line on long head? Yep. Well, Eoabellosaurus had short neck vertebrae, and it also had four fingers on each hand, and of course, strong, sturdy legs. It was estimated to be up to 20 to 21 feet or six to six and a half meter long, but then a later estimate found it to be 19 feet or about 5.8 meters long. Not so big for an abelosaur. Yeah. It did have heavy shoulder blades. <laughs> yeah, of course it did, because it has to support those really powerful, super short arms. <laughs> <laughs> yes, which is what it's known for. <laughs> the type and only species is Eoabellosaurus mephi. The genus name means Don Abel's lizard, and it refers to the fact that it's an early relative of Abelosaurus. For reference, we talked about Abelosaurus back in episode 79. The species name is in honor of MEF, which is the abbreviation for the Edigio Ferruglio Museum of Paleontology, where Diego Pohl, who found the fossils, is active. Diego Pohl found the fossils in 2009, and Eobelosaurus was described in 2012 by him and Oliver Raoult. Those dinosaur names that are named based on an acronym Mm -hmm. are the ones that I have the hardest time figuring out how to pronounce. Because usually I'll go to like, well, what was the original word? Okay, I can figure out how that's pronounced and work from that. But when it's an acronym or just an abbreviation, it's like M E F I. Oh, yeah, that's when I. That's why I went to Mef. Mef I. Yeah, yeah it's, then you just do it how it looks because there's no right answer. <laughs> well, the holotype of Eoabellosaurus includes a nearly complete skeleton with a skull. Mm. Yeah, of either a subadult or adult. And that means most of the spine, both arms and legs, parts of the skull. It's missing the front of the skull, lower jaw, and end of the tail. Though they did find 27 tail vertebrae. Wow. Yeah, that's impressive. Mm Mm-hmm. And the back half was articulated. Nice. That sounds like a really good find. Yeah. That's interesting, too, that you said it was estimated right around 20 feet, maybe a little less. But if it was a subadult, could have gotten a lot bigger. That's true. Or at least a little bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Eobelosaurus was first grouped as an abelosaurid, but then later grouped as an abelosauroid. Oh, so it should be Eobelosauroidus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> I don't know if that works with the Latin grammar. <laughs> I don't know either. But Eobelosaurus helps show how abelosaurs evolved. Before Eoabellosaurus, the oldest known abelosaurids weren't well known. They were only known from fragments, and they were only definitively known from the early Cretaceous. But Eoabellosaurus helps show that abelosaurids were around 40 million years longer or earlier than we previously thought. And as a reminder, abelosaurids, they were bipedal, walked on two legs, the carnivorous. They were known for their stocky legs. And Often the ornamentation on their skulls, like crests or horns, they had the short arms, often without wrist bones, and four stubby fingers on their hands. They had, you were right, Garrett, they do have short but tall skulls. Although this one, proportionally compared to something like Carnotaurus, looks a little bit longer. It does, yeah. And many of them had bony crests above their eyes. They live from the Middle Jurassic to the Late Cretaceous, and they've been found in Africa, South America, India, Madagascar, Portugal, and France. Abelosaurs 
are mostly known from the Southern Hemisphere. And they were like the tyrannosaurs of the Southern Hemisphere. Mm -hmm. Eoabellosaurs lived before Gondwana split off. It could be that there was a big desert that kept abelosaurs from going north. And interestingly, Eoabellosaurus' arms were shorter like later abelosaurids, such as Majungasaurus. Majungasaurus lived at the end of the Cretaceous. Hmm. But other abelosaurids from the early Cretaceous had longer arms. It's ahead of its time. Yeah. <laughs> so Eoabellosaurus' upper arm was longer than the lower arm. The upper arm was actually normal in size. And that may mean that Abelosaurus started evolving the shorter lower arms first before moving on to the upper arm getting shorter. I don't know what's weirder. Either way, it's very weird. <laughs> and the short arms show that Abelosaurus started getting shorter arms early on in their evolution. Now, with its small arms, it probably used its teeth more to go after prey, and they probably had a powerful bite. I mean, there's uh, dogs get the job done with just their mouths. So mm -hmm. this thing had a way more ferocious mouth. It probably didn't need its hands. I was thinking crocodiles also get the yeah. job done with their jaws. Lots of animals <laughs> <laughs> do just fine with impressive teeth. Yes. Other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place as Eobelosaurus included theropods, such as Condoraptor, indeterminate spinosaurs, megalosaurs, and more. Also, sauropods like Patagosaurus and Ornithischians, such as the Heterodontosaurid manadins, and other animals that lived around the same time and place included mollusks, insects, fish, amphibians, turtles, crocodilomorphs, pterosaurs, and mammals. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left. <laughs> 